What's going on guys? This is going to be the part 2 for the MCAT bio biochem mnemonics video. Um, I figured I would make this video using my screen, my uh, um, computer screen because I think it's better to show than just talk about it. So let's get right into it. The so first one is PI um, and pH, right? And it gets confusing as to when the amino acid um, or like whatever you have is positive and when it is negative depending on the pH of the solution, right? So it gets confusing. So the way I think about it is that the pH is a, is the quality of the surroundings, okay? And the PI is the, the quality of the amino acid itself okay or the molecule whatever you have right so with that being said when a pH is low that means that the solution has more protons okay and protons are positively charged all right so if pi is is greater than pH that means that there are more protons in the solution all right which makes the amino acid positive because there are more protons in the surrounding so it is going to make the amino acid which is which has a pi greater than the ph positive okay and the vice versa is true if the pi is lower than the ph right then that amino acid is going to be negative all right so that's why i look at it ph is the is the quality of the surroundings and pi is the intrinsic quality of the amino acid. All right. Next, tendons versus ligaments. The way I, the way that I think about it is that uh, bones, right? They're longer than muscles. All right. So if bones are longer, then ligaments attach bone to bone because of the L long ligaments. So ligaments attach bone to bone because it is longer L. Right. And then once I, I have that understood and memorized, then I know that the other one is tendon is going to be muscle to bone. Right. Convergent, um, convergent evolution. I don't know why I wrote down molecules, but it's convergent evolution. So that's when you have organisms that are not closely related. OK, but they evolve similar traits. And as a result, they develop similar traits because of the uh, environments or the ecological niches, all right? So they kind of come together. So even though they are not the same organism, they evolve the similar traits because of um, the environment or the ecological niches. So they come together. This is converging right here, okay? As you can see, it is going towards the point. Next, norepinephrine and epinephrine. I was getting confused as to which amino acid it is derived from and it is tyrosine and the way that I thought about it is en, norepinephrine, epinephrine, en, and tyrosine. Okay, that's why I think about it. All right, then LA to DC, LA the city and DC the city. So most amino acids are L, so LA, and most carbohydrates are D, dextro, D. So LA to DC, just know that. Then amino acids are from N-terminus to C-terminus, so N to C, I just think about North Carolina, all right? Then I got confused about, or I, I used to get confused about uh, hypo, hyper, isotonic. So the way that I think about it is that, um, Hypo, hyper, iso, it is describing the solution, okay? Hypo means that it is lower, right? Hypo is lower, less, okay? So hypotonic means that the solution has less solute, okay? It has less solute. Hypertonic means that the solution has more solute, okay? Iso means that it is same, all right? So if you think about it, you could reason it out. So if a solution is hypotonic, it has less solute, right? 
it is going to lose its uh, water. Okay? Because it has less solute because of the osmotic pressure. Alright? And if it's hypertonic, it's got more solute, it is going to attract more water or like whatever other solvent you have. Okay? And, and if it's iso, it is not going to uh, do anything. It's, it, it's just going to stay the same. All right, so hypotonic, hypertonic. Next, I just wanted to make this one clarification. Reducing means that it is going to break down covalent disulfide bonds. Okay? That is all it does, and that's all it means. Reducing is going to break down the covalent disulfide bonds. All right? SDS uh, detergent breaks down non-covalent bonds only. So your uh, problem set has to specify that the SDS detergent is reducing. The minute you see the word reducing, that's only when you could say that it is breaking down the covalent disulfide bonds. If it only says SDS detergent and it does not say reducing, then you could only say that it is breaking non-covalent bonds but it is not breaking down the disulfide bond because it does not specify that it is reducing. Okay, I know I was getting confused about that. I was just assuming that if it says SDS detergent because of the word detergent, I was assuming that it would break down the disulfide bond. That is not the case. It has to say reducing. All right. Next, uh, ubiquino versus ubiquinol. If it's all, that means that it, it has extra hydrogen. Okay, it's been reduced. All right. That's the difference between that. All right, now I'm gonna go to the slides real quick. I'm gonna make this. All right. So I was getting confused between um, what is base excision versus mismatch repair versus nucleotide excision. So notice, right? B um, comes before M, comes before N. Okay, B M N. All right. So base excision B, there's only one nucleotide that we're fixing, okay? Only one nucleotide repair, all right? Mismatch, it is, so M is after B, so it's gonna have more nucleotides. So this one has six nucleotides repair, all right? And then N comes after M, so nucleotide excision, you have 12 nucleotide repair because it is, N is after M, so you'll have more than six, so it is 12. Okay, and you know that this is thymine dimer because because tide and T. That's what I think about it. All right, so tide and T, thymine. That's what fixes twelve. So hopefully that makes sense. B M N one six twelve and thymine and nucleotide tide thymine. So hopefully that makes sense. Next, I'll talk about. Um, I was getting confused as to. Um, what we're calling um, cell, okay? What we're calling the cell and what stage of oogenesis and spermatogenesis. So the way that I, I thought about it is, all right, so you know that the end state is the ovum. So I'll just give you an example of the ovum and, and the same applies for sperm, right? So the end state is the ovum, all right? You, you know that. So something, right, something had to have caused, right, for the cell to become an ovum, right? They had to have a, some event, right? So you know that th like there's meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, right? So meiosis 2 was the event that caused the cell to become an ovum, okay? So you know that before ovum, you have meiosis 2, right? So this is meiosis, so this is the ovum. Meiosis 2 caused the ovum. So this is ovum, and this little arrow right here, oh. This little arrow right here, that is meiosis 2. Alright? So, what was before meiosis 2? Right? That was your secondary oocyte. Right here. Secondary oocyte. And likewise, something had to have happened, some event that caused the cell to be a secondary oocyte. And that event was meiosis 1. Alright? So, this little arrow right here, that was meiosis 1. Meiosis 1 
cause secondary oocyte. All right, and then before minus is one, you're the primary oocyte. That's the way that I think about it. So I know that the end the end state is ovum. What caused the ovum? Minus is two. So what's before minus is two? Secondary oocyte. What caused the secondary oocyte? Minus is one. So what was before minus is one? The primary oocyte. That's the way that I think about it. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So you you kind of like reverse engineer it instead of like memorizing in the head. I would rather understand it. And the same applies to spermatogenesis. Okay, it's very similar. Alright. Now, bacterial conjugation, right? A conjugal visit is to get together, right? Conjugation is to get together, right? So, for a, a bacterial conjugation is when you have two bacteria in a conjugal visit, they're together, and they transfer, okay, copies of the plasmid via this uh, sex pilus or pilus, right? This is the conjugation tube, right? So hopefully that makes sense, right? Back to conjugation, two bacteria, they come for the conjugal visit right here, and they share transfer copies of the plasmid via this conjugation tube or the sex pilus or pilus. Alright, hopefully that makes sense.